Hey everyone, this is John from JohnLoomer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. And once again, we continue our ongoing series on Facebook Timeline for Pages tutorials. So we try to break out as many as we can to keep you educated and up to date uh, before clicking publish on your timeline. Um, it's pretty amazing, you know, when you make such a dramatic change as Facebook did with Timeline, how features can just slip through the cracks. And, uh, you know, I really haven't heard much about these features on the right hand side here. So there are three buckets. Friends, your current friends who like this page, recent posts by others of this page, and likes, you know, the, the, the other pages that this page likes. You know, they're interesting, um, adds a social element to it, and uh, I think it's a nice snapshot, especially for people coming here who don't want to dig through the timeline to kind of get a sense of uh, First of all, you know, how their friends are engaged with it. And uh, maybe they don't want to read through all the posts, and they can just read the recent posts by others. So it's, I think there's some value there. But that said, this takes up a lot of real estate on the right-hand side, which means your posts and any other um, posts that others make on your timeline are relegated to this left-hand side until you get past those three buckets. So you may not like that, and uh, you may think that, uh, in particular, this recent post by others, it takes up a lot of space. You know, that area uh, could be better served with your own content. So the thing is, you can actually hide this bucket. If you go into your admin panel and click Manage, oops, I'll do that again, Manage, Edit Page, and Post Visibility, show the box for recent post by others, just uncheck it, and save it. Go ahead and view page. Once this loads, we're gonna hide this top area. It seems like a lot of clicks these days, doesn't it? Then scroll down, and you'll notice we get right straight to the, the nitty gritty once we get past these two boxes. So I haven't yet decided if I'm going to keep that bucket or get rid of it. I haven't published my timeline yet as I sort through decisions like this one. But it's certainly, you know, it's certainly something to think about. Um, you know, I kind of wish that Facebook would provide the option of limiting the number of recent posts by others to show up in that bo box to four or five or three. But uh, I don't know, maybe they think that it's um, it's valuable to have eight, and it's either eight or nothing. Um, so that's why they put, but they realize that you may not want that, so they put that checkbox there. So uh, something to sort through, but just want to let you know that you can get rid of it if you don't want it there. So for more tutorials like this one, there are lots of them. Go to johnloomer.com or like my page on Facebook at John Loomer Digital. Thanks.